Now, with that, see, this season is filled with new levels of angelic intervention. That's what makes it more supernatural than what we are used to. We live in a lot of religious humanism where we, we live in a lot of understanding. But there, there is an intervention of angelic help being sent during this hour that is beyond our thought processes. And they're in this dimension already. The Lord showed them to me that they're in this dimension and they've been training us. And I think that's what you've been working with. I, I think when I heard that word about Scranton, that the Lord said, because well, we were all over Pennsylvania, but the Lord said to you, go to Scranton, you can't see or have revival in America. So, that can only come from angelic help speaking to you and because angels are sent to bring messages to us. And now that we've done that and now Scranton's moving, you know that that peace is in place. Now, when England brought me that gold key, uh, at head of the year, and for some of you, you will have to watch that. It was really something huge from the Commonwealth. Pennsylvania in these 13 colonies becomes uh, the keystone state, which it is. It becomes very key in your worship for the future. You'll know there will come a time where you will gather through Pennsylvania, and, and you can't make this happen, people. I, I, I watch intercessors and watchmen try to do it just because you have to watch the Lord orchestrate it. Or you're not at the right place at the right time. See, the issue with the Citadel was we were at the right place at the right time. It wasn't a meeting that we had ever had in South Carolina. And God activated something in us. And you've been being trained. Now, with that, that means Lord Sabaoth is in our midst. So I want to refresh you on how Lord Sabaoth, what he does and how he's moving. See, God came... And he has these characteristics of who he is in his name. Now, this is going to become very, very important for you. And that's, this is what I came to leave with you this morning. Now, I know we'll have a great time tomorrow. But Lord Sabaoth is the divine warrior. And some way or another, he came down a year ago and said, now, a year from now, I'm going, and that's why you saw that birthing going on. Just like he told Sarah, he said, a year from now, I'm going to bring to birth a new movement in this land. And yet, it's linked with the original battlefield. And he is the divine warrior. And his main role right now is establishing the kingdom in the earth realm. We're not in a church season, but one of the things I'll be loosing to us, I'll, I'll bring it up here, but I'll probably loose it tomorrow, is the, he's, he's activating the law of the church, the law of the house in a new way. It's throughout the word of God, the law of the house. And that is being activated this year. And you don't have to try to understand all this. You'll ponder it. It'll all come clear to you. Because the law of the house has to be activated this year to advance the kingdom. And this becomes really important. And that's where the glory movement stirs. All right? Now, he's coming to... This is what Lord Sabaoth does when you go through and you study Lord Sabaoth. 
He's coming to remove the taunting of earth's opponents. In other words, that which is taunting his kingdom plan, he's rising up conflicting voices against it. And you all said that this morning. He says we're going to have to get still. And when he says be still and watch, this is the strongest warfare call. Because stillness means you cannot have an emotion that will pull you out of your abiding place. And if your emotions are not intact and aren't in that abiding place with the Lord, you're going to uh, think Bambi, the movie. Remember those quails? The quails in Bambi where the mother was saying, shh, 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 shh. And one of them finally just flew, and then the whole group flew up, and they all got killed. That's why he's saying, be still and watch. I know your enemy is approaching. I know your enemy will pass by you, but I've already prepared you to deal with it. And I have angelic help waiting in the wings. All right? Uh, The good thing about Lord Sabaoth, we can interact with him. That's what Elisha said to his servant. He said... uh, it doesn't matter that the enemies surrounding us, there's more with us than against us. And finally, his servant's eyes opened up to Lord Sabo's help. And he moved forward. So he's going to protect, deliver, and restore his covenant people. But we're moving with him in a whole new way. And I really think that's been what the war is over is you. <laughs> 